Chapter 12. Seeing Ahead. Being Aware Beats Being Humble. The quote, being aware beats being humble, those are words from one of my favorite rap artists. His name rhymes with break. (laughs) When I heard that rhyme, it made so much sense to me. God wants us to be humble, of course. But that is not to be confused with being aware of your situation, your surroundings, your competition, and especially your upcoming roadblocks along your journey. You got to be humble in those actions towards anything. But be sure to possess humble awareness. Here's what I mean. You ever heard of someone referencing the devil wanting to stop their greatness? I'm sure you have. I used to think that automatically when something would go wrong. But along this journey, I learned that some of the things that the devil is doing can actually be prevented by me. Now, let me be clear. I'm not that deep into the full understanding of everything with my faith. But what I am clear on is that God wants me to be prepared for my end and he'll take care of the rest. I can't point you to a specific verse or anything like that, but hey, that's what I know. Here's a real life example or scenario. You're about to go and head to some big meeting at five o'clock that you have. And of course, it's right in the middle of the day, which is the busiest time in the streets, which creates a lot of backed up traffic. So you're getting ready to leave and you're running late already. You can't afford any slow ups in your commute. Keep in mind that you know about this meeting for a whole week ahead. That's the first thing. You're on the way and you're already rushing and you notice the gas light comes on while you're on the highway and you aren't sure if you can quite make it there on the gas you got left. Now you have to stop and get gas and you get pissed off because you know it's going to be bumper to bumper traffic when you get off the highway to get some gas. You're pulling out of the gas station and you're texting or emailing your contact that you're running late. Then, bam, some lady makes an immediate stop right in front of you and you didn't see it coming because you were busy texting while you were driving. Now you're extremely pissed off because you know you're definitely not going to make the meeting. Now you have that daunting thought of that opportunity that you were looking to gain out of the meeting may be severed. At this point, you're very likely to think that Man, this devil is trying to kill my process. No, not in this situation. In this situation, it's your own fault. It's your own doing that put you in that position at that particular place in time. The devil had nothing to do with that. And maybe God didn't either. What actually happened was you ignored getting prepared in advance for any hiccups in the process to get to this meeting. You weren't aware of your poor decision making that you were exhibiting in this process. This could have all been prevented if you would have been focused and aware of the full situation of timing and preparation for this big meeting. This one's on you. The point of making that elaborate example is to show that you have to be accountable for your own actions and thoughts. That's why being focused and aware of everything that you can think of that could be a potential problem at all times is extremely important, especially along the journey of being a full time entrepreneur. Because there is no foundation, except for what you set. You're in the jungle. There isn't a path to follow. So you have to create your own and be aware of all the things that may fall in your way along the path. It's serious out here, man. One major part of seeing ahead as an entrepreneur is your finances. Sure, of course we are to focus on our craft or business in overtime, but understand that if you aren't focused on your finances, then your finances will take your focus without a doubt. Listen, your journey and decisions you make can come and go, but bills, they come every damn month on time. Bills are never late for the financial party. They're there when you don't want them to be, when you aren't ready to see them, and especially when you don't have the money. So being aware of where you financially stand is one of the most important parts of being an entrepreneur. And staying an entrepreneur, I can count about five people that I personally knew who all quit their jobs to follow their dreams at the same time I did. Like I said, that's cool and all and great that they had the balls to set out on this wild ride. But literally, I watched each and every one of them go back to working a regular nine to five job. I promise you, I'm not ragging on them in any shape, form or fashion. I'm just aware of what happened and also the difference in decisions that I made. I do not mean that I'm better than them. I just mean that I was blessed enough to have all the support I did have and wisdom and knowledge to stay ahead of the game. 
What I mean with staying ahead of the game is ahead of any problem that I could foresee. I paid attention to where I was at financially at all times, and I paid attention to any signs of money making opportunities that I could capitalize on. The signs are always there. You just have to be aware. Being that I was focused on what mattered, the money, I have been able to sustain being a full time entrepreneur throughout these past years. Might I add as well that these past two years have literally been the toughest challenges that I've ever personally experienced with everything that I've been going through. But hey, I pray for success. And I think that probably that was God's way of getting me prepared for the greatness that he will be giving me, which is how I even got to this point where I'm writing this book. Thank you, God. I now have personal conviction that I know that all glory goes to God, too.